Saturday morning, dashed out in the woods, back behind my house. I haven't been back here in been a year or so. That's where I found that gold ring and harmonica reeds and a few other things. A lot of horseshoes. Good Lord, have I found some, some horseshoes. I just found an old padlock. Look at this guy. There's the hole. It's got the little swinging door right there that goes over the, the keyhole. Yeah, it's pretty corroded. I'm gonna have to put this in the electrolysis tank. Pretty neat. I just dug a very, very encrusted buckle, a little buckle. You can see the, uh, the frame. It goes around, there's the tongue right there in the middle. It's sticking up. It just looks like a big old chunk of iron. But underneath that is a nice little buckle. Eight hours in the electrolysis tank will clean that sucker right up. I just found a, uh, a heel plate. Heel plate to a boot. That's freaking cool, man. Look at that. equivalent to a horseshoe for humans that's really cool man what is this thing it looks like a mini harmonica reed of some kind of something another doesn't it I mean I don't know what else it could be Found some brass. It's a uh, a little uh, keyhole latch. I think it went on a little chest, some kind of little chest that covered the keyhole. I've mentioned before that the uh, the Technetics T2 does amazingly well on recovering the absolute tiniest little relics. I mean, itty bitty little things that just would blow your mind. This sucker will recover it. And I mean, deep too, you know, seven, eight, nine inches down, it's finding these little tiny little things like this little teeny nail. Well, this is pretty cool, A brass bell. <laughs> That's a first. I've never recovered one of these. That's pretty cool. I've gotten a lot of horseshoes out of here. Good God, have I gotten a lot of horseshoes out of here. A lot of mule shoes also. Another mule shoe. That thing's bad as shit. Man, that thing is amazing. Thank you, I appreciate it. Beautiful, beautiful.